Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. Very good afternoon, my dear friends. Welcome to today's session. Uh, today, our uh, eminent uh, resource person, Dr. Kavita Akula, Madam Garu, Assistant Professor, Department of Botany, RBVRR Women's College, Hyderabad. Madam is going to explain uh, one of the important uh, topic in our uh, bryophyta and pteridophyta. Uh, and my dear friends, listen carefully. If you have any doubt, uh, please clarify uh, uh, your doubts with our respected madam. Madam, please uh, start the session. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, madam. Mm, good afternoon, ma. So, till yesterday, we have completed with the bryophyta type studies. So, today onwards, we'll start with the pteridophyta. So before that, we'll start with the general characters of pteridophyta, okay? What are the common characters you observe in all the pteridophyta groups? In that, we'll start today, okay? Fine, just I'm start sharing my screen. Sir, okay, I'm just making it as a slideshow. Right. So, uh, pteridophyta, general characters so pteridophyta so these are the next evolved plants and bryophyta tarvata evolve in a plant saint and pteridophytes are not okay so the word pteridophyte pteridophyte phyton and plant pterido or tiron and feathers are not and the plant idi chala emantaru these plants pteridophyta plants anivi they are very much beautiful to identify with their leaves. Because leaves are navy, manaki chala feather lanti leaves and matter. Leaves are chala pedda gaunt. And we can identify this plant only with the help of the leaves. So that's why these are called as the pteridophytes, or we can commonly also called as the ferns, fern plants and good under. Feather like leaf, like a put a fern plants and common gaunt. Okay. Next important point in the, uh, these are considered as the vascular cryptogams. And in the, with the pteridophyta, cryptograms are the end hypothet. Okay, next to gymnosperms and angiosperms. So, wheat in Yamantnamo, these are the first land plants, okay, evolved land plants showing the vascular system. And the kind of vascular cryptogams and them. And in the, these are the first plants in which the vascular and the xylem phloem tissue, vascular tissue develop in twenty first plants in the and pteridophytes are matter. So we call them as the vascular cryptogams. Next, so these include primitive living plants as well as the fossil plants. And this division pteridophyta it is represented by four hundred genera. So almost there are in in country we put our discover just not twenty genera in the end four hundred. So inka unnai but we need to discover still and there are about ten thousand five hundred species belonging to this four hundred genera. Next in common point in the general character of this pteridophyta in the end. Manam bryophyta lo plant body aye the gametophyta naam. Ikkada pteridophyta lo Plant body and the sporophyte, sporophytic plant body, adult plant means sporophyte and tamikara. Ade bryophyta lo, we called it as gametophyte. In the kakada gametophyte and namo, in the kante plant body and the thallus local kani, vita kani, we can see the development of sexual organs. Kani, e pteridophyta lo. The adult plant, the main plant is a sporophyte. Okay? That sporophytic main plant is responsible for production of spores, for liberation of spores. And the plant body means direct spores and we release out. And the plant means sporophyte. And Next important point, we can see the development of the plant. And the plant is differentiated into stem, root, and the leaves. Now, a perfect plant body structure and maybe we can observe right from the pteridophytic plant. So, mature sporophyte, it is nutritionally independent of the gametophyte. 
So in bryophytal sporophyte is dependent on gametophyte. Okay, bryophytal marcanchalakani, anthocerous lakani, polytrichum no, one sporophyte, it is attached to the gametophyte and jadukuna. And it is dependent on the gametophyte. Kani pteridophyte alo, sporophyte is independent. And it leads its own life. It is not depending on the gametophyte. Clear? So, these points are not here. So, I will tell you about pteridophytes are commonly called as corn plants. And they are identified with the help of their feather-like leaves. Then these are considered as the first vascular cryptogams having the vascular system development. And uh, the plant body is generally called as the sporophytic plant body and differentiated into stem, root and leaves. And the sporophyte, it is independent of the gametophyte. Okay. Now, next slide. So, here these uh, pteridophytes, they show a much variation in their size, habitat and the form. And they, they show the different uh, variation in their size and Oka plant king, oka plant ki chala teda unta nani common ga kana pada ho. Though they are pteridophytes, they show a variation in their plant structure. And what you call plant body shape lo kani, avekkada grow out in nai habitat ni batti guda, there are certain uh, changes you can observe. So for example, uh, Azola and Salvinia, e plants e vi, pteridophytic plants e vi kuda. These are annual plants and they complete the life cycle in one year. So, which are small and annual plants. Whereas, Angiopteris, Lycopodium, even large perennial trees and they can live for a longer period of time. They complete the life cycle and they grow for a longer period of time. And then, Eteridophyta, simple, small, annuals, nunchi. Large perennial trees were good. We can see the variation. Next, most of the pteridophytes are terrestrial. And they are completely present on the land habitat. But there are certain members which are aquatic. For example, Azola, Marsilia, Isoitis, Salvinia. These are the aquatic pteridophytes and they grow in water. Marsilia kawachu, Azola kawachu, Salvinia isoites, even ni kuda water lo grow a 20 pteridophytic plants. And the kani dini aquatic pteridophytes and And one example which is called as the Selaginella. So this is the one which is a zero fight. And the edari lo perge 20 mukta dini zero fight and under. Selaginella rupus stress. And the pteridophyta lo manaki land plants unnai, at the same time water plants unnai, inga zero phytic plants go down and there is such a variation. Anni common ga land plants hai gaadu. We can see group lo aquatic group unnai, zero phytic group unnai, the land pene grow a 20 plants go down. Next. So when we talk about the plant structure, they have a permanent stem and the roots with growing apices and most of the pteridophytes they have herbaceous stem. Herbaceous stem and the stem and the soft and tender herbaceous stem and generally first formed pteridophytes and primitive pteridophytes they all have herbaceous stem. Next when we talk about the leaves Ikkada pteridophyta lo leaves plays a very important role. Okay. And the kante manamu general ga anni pteridophytic plants lo leaves plays an important role in forming the spores production. So gen and the leaves are chala important ananda. So ikkada leaves and avi they are sometimes scaly. Scaly and chala tough ga. Uh, they are showing uh, hard structures. Okay, soft ground, tough ground, 20 leaves or some more, they are reduced. And when we have a feather, sometimes leaves are reduced. So we call them as the scale leaves. So that you can observe in the genera called as equisitum. Equisitum, 
we can see the presence of the scaly leaves and sometimes the leaves are very very small and sessile sessile ante it does not have the stalk petiole anedi undadu so the appointment appudu a leaves ni sessile leaves antam so ad ekkada kanapadutundi meeku you can see them in the example called as the lycopodium this is a lycopodium in the lycopodium these are all the small leaves anni leaves they are arranged spirally with the help of their base and the petiole is absent so we call them as the sessile leaves lycopodium lo selagin allalo you can see the sessile leaves right whereas in uh, adiantum this is another species which have the large petiole and the leaf is a compound leaf so this is a very good example in pteridophyte showing the presence of a compound leaf ikkade mo ivanni simple leaves ide mo compound leaf okay and having a large petiole important another important point when we talk about in the pteridophyta is in some of the leaves you can see circinate vernation circinate vernation ante enti ante younger leaves anamata first formed leaves anevi they are coiled like this coiled in word illa murchiki poi undadam anamata leaf anedi itla inner side ga murchiki poi undadam this is called as the circinate vernation so this is a characteristic feature in basically in most of the pteridophytes showing this type of vernation tarvata next important point so depending upon the leaf structure we are uh, the pteridophytes are classified as microphyllous pteridophytes and the macrophyllous pteridophytes fillers ante ent fillers ante the term appear uh, uh, the term related to leaf okay so micro ante small anamata so a group ante some of the pteridophytes if they have small leaves small and simple leaves so atwanti leaves ni atwanti pteridophyta ni pteridophyte groups ni microphyllous pteridophytes anantam anduke cheppanu leaf is leaf shows a very peculiar character in pteridophytes pteridophyta lo leaves kunna pramukyata inga a group lo undadu so microphyllous so example entante lycopodium meeku idi type study undi a type study cheppadapudu cheptanu lycopodium ani generalo leaves are simple leaves and they are sessile indaka joinchan kada nenu meeku id annata and they are sessile ante without having any petiole and they are arranged very close to each other anni leaves దగ్గర దగ్గరగా అటాచ్ అయి ఉంటాయి సో సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ది లీఫ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ మైక్రోఫిల్లస్ టెరిడోఫైట్స్ అని అంటారు నెక్స్ట్ అనదర్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ టెరిడోఫైట్స్ ఏంటి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద లీఫ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ దే ఆర్ మ్యాక్రోఫిల్లస్ మ్యాక్రో మ్యాక్రో అంటే లార్జ్ అనమాట ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద లీఫ్ విల్ బి వెరీ లార్జ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ complex or it is going to it is a com, compound leaf ani kuda anochu okay large pinnatified complex leaves with the complex series of veins okay and forming a prominent leaf gap in the stem so example enti vi terrace terrace ane genera lo meeku the leaves pedda pedda ga untayi and uh, those leaves are compound pinnately compound and having the complex veins anamata so this is based on the structure of the leaf the pteridophytes are either microphyllous or they are macrophyllous next when we talk about the other other characteristic features చెప్పాం కదా టెరిడోఫైట ప్లాంట్ లో హ్యావింగ్ ద సెంట్రల్ స్టెమ్ రీజియన్ అది ఉంటుంది అండ్ దిస్ స్టెమ్ ఇస్ యూజువలీ బ్రాంచ్డ్ స్టెమ్ స్టెమ్ ఇస్ హైలీ బ్రాంచ్ అండ్ దట్ బ్రాంచింగ్ ఈదర్ ఇట్ కెన్ బి ఏ మోనోపోడియల్ బ్రాంచింగ్ ఆర్ డైకోటమస్ బ్రాంచింగ్ అంటే ఇట్ మే డెవలప్ ఆర్ ఇట్ మే ప్రొడ్యూస్ ద స్టెమ్ మే ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఈదర్ సింగిల్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఆర్ దే మే ప్రొడ్యూస్ 
two branches from each uh, stem that is from the central main axis it may develop two branches or a single branch next comes so e branches and ivy they never be developed from the axil of the leaf but they only develop at the tip of the main stem or the main axis next to the leaves and the stem they possess trichomes trichomes and dentis these are the small hair like structures mottam stem no leaves paina you can see the development of the trichomes next to on the leaves so you can see the development of stomata on the upper surface as well as on the lower surface of the leaf development of the stomata can be seen next to roots and stems are with well developed vascular system and the kani vitini first vascular cryptogams ananta and a vascular tissue anedi it has been developed right from pteridophytic plants and uh, what is this vascular tissues xylem tissue and the phloem tissue xylem is a tissue which conducts the water and the phloem is a tissue which is conducting the food material next cambium is absent so ikramanik et vandi do the vascular system is developed there is no secondary growth development in the most of the pteridophytes but in isoites which is the uh, one of the pteridophyte which show the uh, secondary growth development next based on the vascular uh, arrangement and the vascular tissues etla arrange ayayi how are they that is commonly called as the steel and the xylem phloem arrangement ni we call it as a steelar tissue okay so how they are uh, how these elements are arranged so based on that in the pteridophytes the steel okay these of protosteel type siphonosteel dictyostyl or polysteel so what are these anedi manam ee type studies chadave tappudu i will let you know what is protosteelic condition siphonosteel anedi appudu cheptanu okay so mana pteridophyta lo we come across these different types of steels depending upon the genera and the arrangement of the xylem and the phloem tissue next so ipudu xylem and phloem rendu develop ayya ani cheppan kabatti how are they how is the xylem tissue so mana meeru anatomy lo ante next coming uh, next year lo meer javutaru anatomy lo xylem tissue anedi which is a uh, complex tissue antamu having this uh, xylem and phloem the vascular vascular tissue system ni complex tissue system anantam ante xylem untundi and the xylem tissue is again made up of several group of cells anamata so uh, xylem tissue made up of several cells what are those cells which we call it as xylem vessels or uh, xylem uh, we call them as trachea tracheids xylem parenchyma okay so those are all the different groups of cells which forms the xylem tissue so ikkada pteridophyta lo xylem is made up of only tracheids okay tracheary elements are absent but only we can see the presence of the tracheids and xylem vessels are also absent whereas the phloem phloem would have made up of same uh, different type of cells like sieve cells sieve tubes phloem parenchyma okay but here in the pteridophyta the phloem is only made up of sieve cells and the phloem parenchyma sieve tubes anedi we can't find right so we all know that xylem is going to conduct the water and the minerals and the phloem is going to conduct the food material next so that is regarding the vascular tissue and the vascular cells which are present in the pteridophytic plant so now we'll moving on to the reproduction so when we talk about the reproduction i already discussed in the starting slide that pteridophyta plant body is a sporophytic plant and the pteridophyta plant ni manamu sporophyta an antunam ante enti the plant is going to produce a spores on matter okay so directly the plant is developing and producing the spores 
So hence the adult plant is considered as a sporophyte. So these spores are navy ekada develop ani where their spores are been developed and produced. So these are spores they are produced from some specialized structures which are called as sporangia. Okay. So our bryophyta lo manam capsule lo pula spore sac spore sac lo manke spore develop ani man jab kunam. Kani ekada inti pteridophyta lo. Plant body neither we can see the development of these specialized structures, what we call it as sporangia. These sporangia locala spores are going to be developed. Am I clear? Right. Next to plant body pina is sporangia ne vekadunai. These sporangia they are born or they will be produced on the ventral side of the leaf. And the kani pteridophyta lo leaves are very bigger in size. Conspicuously, they are bigger and feather like. Okay, and the leaf yoke ventral side, and the leaf yoke kindi bagana, you can see the development of the sporangia. Am I clear? So, the leaves which are going to have these sporangia are leaves me. Sporophylls are antamu. So don't get confused. Sporangia, sporophylls. Sporangia and anti. These are the sac and the bag and the structure. What is local spores and even develop out there. These sporangia like a growl tonight. They are developed on the leaves. So our leaf name antamu. We are calling it as a sporophyll. Phylloid and it put a leaf and matter. Phyllum, phyllus, and a phylloid and a leaf. The leaf which is going to have sporangia, that is called as the sporophyll. A sporangia and just spores will be coming out. Am I clear? Right. Next, when we talk about in the aquatic forms, already in the habitat, habitat, terrestrial forms, and I. Aquatic forms and at the same time zero pitic forms good on my own. So aquatic forms flow and like Salvinia, Marsilia, these porangia maybe they are present in fruiting body, some specialized structures on tie which are called as a sporocarp. It is sporocarp. And these porangia and we leave up in a carp in the they are developed in a specialized structures which are called as the fruiting bodies they are called as the sporocarp okay marsilia me manaki ipude types in mana syllabus lo lycopodium equisetum and marsilia ee three type studies unnai so at the time at the type study chadetappudu sporocarp structure anedi very very important in marsilia so ee sporocarp lo you can see the development of sporangia in case of aquatic pteridophytes. Next, so I prove whatever it may be, sporangia or energy spores and maybe they will develop. Now, so depending upon what type of spores are produced, based on that, the plants are considered as homosporous and heterosporous condition. Homosporous condition and the heterosporous condition. And the plant ni homosporous and epurantam. Epuraite a plant to okay rakamaina spores. Homo and the same. And these spores okay laga unadam. If they are producing similar spores, then that type of plant, that type of pteridophyte or that type of genera is called as homosporous genera. Okay, whereas the example we call it as lycopodium or terrace. Next, example like selaginella. Selaginella plant lo, me ko sporangia lo nunchi, two type of spores of that, hetero and they different. Okay, in selaginella genera lo, sporangia lo nunchi, two type of spores. Okay, koni spores pedda size lo ontai, koni spores chinna size lo ontai. We call them as microspores and megaspores. 
Am I clear? The spores which are very smaller in size, we call them as microspores. And the spores which are larger in size, we call them as megaspores. Two different types of spores form out megavati are genirani, heterosporous genirani, pilusta. Am I Hello? Hello? Girls, in Pardunda. Hello, girls, in Pardunda, in Japan. Okay, mute chest. Right, so you put a homosporous and in Japan. Spores are of same type. And the plant body is a sporangia. One release of the chinna spores release of the hill, but the pet the spores release of the micro spores and the macro spores and the okay or mega spores and the so if the plant if the genera if the sporangia is producing only a single type of spore, then that condition is called as homosporous condition. So heterosporous lime two different types of spores. Smaller spores, we call them as microspores. And the sporangia, which is producing that spores, is called as microsporangia. And it, our sporangia lo, only chinna type of spores, chinna size lona spores, ne release just. Whereas the spores which are larger in size, they are, that spores are called as megaspore. And the sporangia, which is developing that bigger spore, is called as mega. Sporangia. Next, again another important point here is sporangia development. Anedi. This is also plays a very important role. So plant body and it based on sporangial development. Uh, the genera or the plant can be of eusporangiate type or leptosporangiate type. And and uh, sporangia, man, leaf pina sporangia develop out in Japan. If the sporangia are developed from only a single cell, a single initial cell to develop out there, then the type of sporangia development is leptosporangiate. This is an important point. Okay, sporangial development, if it is developing from a single initial cell, then it is called as a leptosporangiate type. Suppose if it is developing from a group of cells, then that type of development is called as a eusporangiate type. Okay. Next. Next to in the sporophylls. So ikkada sporophyll and ENT, what do you mean by a sporophyll? Sporophyll and the leaf, which is producing or which is having sporangia. A leaves me that the sporangial develop out of what in manamu sporophylls and okay right. Kuni genera lo e sporophylls and they are aggregated and forming a compact structure and e sporophylls and ni uda it is forming a common structure which is called as a cone or strobili. Malijaptanu, pteridophytalo, is porophyls eventum to a leaf state is perangial develop out of you. A leaf and ni guda, okadani kokata tukupoi, oka compact structure laga develop out of Okay. It will compact structure and develop out. So, develop in a prudini manamimat namu e structure ni cone anantamu, like a pote strobili anpura anta. Okay, so this you can observe in the case of selaginella, lycopodium, and equisitor. Okay, or sometimes they are uniformly distributed. So, an example called as an AD antimorter is so. The aggregation of the sporophylls into this compact structure, which is called as cone or the strobili. So, this 
formation of the cone or the strobilus can observed in the steridophyta structure okay now next in kuka important point in that sporangia if they are located on the lower surface of the leaf if sporangia anni kuda itla oka group laga develop aipothe lower side of the leaf if sporangia anni itla group laga form avute then we are calling that as sore eye or sorus a group of sporangia developed on the uh, lower surface of the leaf is called as sori or sorus next there the spore it la undi ipudu sporangia lo nunchi spores are liberated so how are those spores the spore is going to consist of a spore wall which is very thicker in origin and the spore chuttura meku oka thick structure anedi develop avutundi oka thick wall layer anedi form avutundi which is called as spore wall and that is differentiated into outer exine antamu inner intine antamu ante the spore wall is differentiated into two layers which is called as outer exine and inner intine so the what is this spore is spore anedi it is liberating and uh, falling on the substratum and this spore will develop into the next generation which is called as the gametophyte okay and another important point in the antiquity in teridophyte the gametophyte and the sporophyte they are totally separate from each other and they both are independent from each other అదే మనకి బ్రయోఫైట్ లో స్పోరోఫైట్ గ్యామిటోఫైట్ అతుక్కుపోయి ఇట్ ఈస్ డిపెండెంట్ అని చదువుకుంటాం కానీ టెరిడోఫైట్ లో ఈ రెండు జనరేషన్స్ స్పోరోఫైట్ జనరేషన్ గ్యామిటోఫైట్ జనరేషన్ రెండు క్వాయ్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ అనదర్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ విత్ వన్ అనదర్ సరే ఇప్పుడు గ్యామిటోఫైట్ సో గ్యామిటోఫైట్ ఇప్పుడు స్పోర్ ఇలాగా ఒక సబ్స్ట్రాటం అంటే గ్రౌండ్ మీద పడినప్పుడు అది జర్మినేట్ అయిపోయి మనకి గ్యామిటోఫిటిక్ టిష్యూ ని డెవలప్ అవుతుంది సో దిస్ ఇస్ అ గ్యామిటోఫైట్ సో ద గ్యామిటోఫైట్ ఆఫ్ ది టెరిడోఫైట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ప్రొథాలస్ గ్యామిటోఫైట్ ఏమంటాము గ్యామిటోఫైట్ ఒక పేరు ఉంది దిస్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ది ప్రొథాలస్ సో ఈ ప్రొథాలస్ అనేది ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ అంటే ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు ప్రిపేర్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ ఫుడ్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ వెరీ సింపుల్ గ్రీన్ అండ్ హార్ట్ షేప్డ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ okay so the prothallus or the gametophyte of the teridophyte is green and heart shaped structure now on this prothallus you can see the development of antheridia and archegonia those are the female sexual organs male and the female sexual organs ఒకవేళ హోమోస్పోరస్ కండిషన్ లో అయితే ఒక హోమోస్పోర్ ఇఫ్ స్పోర్స్ ఆర్ ఆఫ్ సేమ్ టైప్ అన్నది కదా ఇఫ్ ఏ హోమోస్పోర్ విల్ డెవలప్ అండ్ ఇట్ విల్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ది ప్రొథాలస్ ఆన్ విచ్ ఆంథ్రీడియా నార్కిగోనియా దే బోత్ ఆర్ డెవలప్డ్ ఆన్ ద సేమ్ థాలస్ సో అటువంటప్పుడు దాన్ని మనం మొనీషియస్ థాలస్ అని అంటాం రెండు మేల్ ఫీమేల్ రెండు సెక్షువల్ ఆర్గన్స్ ఒకే థాలస్ మీద డెవలప్ అవుతే దెన్ వి కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఏ మొనీషియస్ థాలస్ అని అంటాం కానీ హెటిరోస్పోరస్ కండిషన్ లో ఏమవుతుంది మైక్రోస్పోర్ అంటే చిన్న స్పోరు విల్ డెవలప్ ఇన్ టు మేల్ ప్రొథాలస్ అండ్ మైక్రోస్పోర్ ఆర్ ది మెగా స్పోర్ విచ్ విల్ డెవలప్ ఇన్ టు ఫీమేల్ ప్రొథాలస్ సో దట్ కండిషన్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ది డయీషియస్ కండిషన్ అంటే మైక్రోస్పోర్ విల్ డెవలప్ ఇన్ టు మేల్ గామిటోఫైట్ అండ్ ది మైక్రోస్పోర్ విల్ డెవలప్ ఇన్ టు ఫీమేల్ గామిటోఫైట్ అనమాట a uh, male gametophyte meda you can see the development of antheridium and the mega or the female prothallus meda you can see the development of the archegonia the female sexual organ so antheridium it long is just like um, in bryophytes the antheridia is a club shaped structure having small stalk or sometimes they are sessile also surrounded by a single layer of jacket layer and uh, these antheridia they develop anthrozoids which is the male gametes they are unicellular 
and spirally coiled with the two flagella so next year, megaspore it is developing into the female uh, gametophyte the female gametophyte and the female prothallus on which we can see the female sexual organ called as archegonia so ikkada archegonia letla unna and flask shaped having the venter and a small neck okavela neck unte undochu lekapothe ledhu it is not a compulsory just like that in bryophyte so if the neck is there the neck is projected and the venter is embedded in the prothallus so archegonia lopala em untundi we can see the development of the female gamete which is called as the egg so now the male gametes which are anthrozoites they will fuse with the egg and form the zygote now this zygote will develop into the embryo and the embryo will develop into the uh, next sporophyte and next to uh, next to sporophytic plant and the that uh, embryo will develop into that next to sporophytic plant body so this is the life cycle microsporophyll and the megasporophyll and ant this is the leaf which is developing the microsporangium megasporangium microsporangium possesses microspores megasporangium possesses megaspores microspore will develop into male prothallus female prothallus male prothallus with antheridium female prothallus with archegonium antheridia develops anthrozoites archegonia consists of the egg these both gametes are fusing and resulting in the diploid zygote so ikkadiki mottam manaki the end of the gametophytic generation but zygote nunchi sporophyte anamata zygote will develop into embryo embryo will develop into a new egg sporophytic plant so this is the and stop sharing the general characters of the pteridophytic plants so even the common characters you come across in all the type studies okay na ma kavya and umeema you both are there okay ma'am right సరే ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ ఓన్లీ వన్ మినిట్ లెఫ్ట్ ఐ స్టాప్ హియర్ రేపటి నుంచి మనము లైకోపోడియం టైప్ స్టడీ ఆఫ్ టెరిడోఫైటా చదువుకుందాం క్లియర్ రేపటి నుంచి లైకోపోడియం చదువుకుందాం సరేనా రైట్ ఓకే మేడం రైట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ మా ఐ ఆమ్ ఎండింగ్ ద మీటింగ్ You can leave, ma'am.